Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the MTAC team, and we're going to take a closer look at how a student can record and submit a basic video response to a topic inside of Flipgrid. So I've gone ahead and accessed a group as a student. And inside my group, I can see that there are five topics in this group. If I click on this picker bar here, I can see a drop down list of all the topics that I can navigate to. But in this case, I want to record a response to the reading response, Pete the Cat book. Now, as the student scrolls down, the student is going to see that there are three different places they can click to launch the Flipgrid recorder. They can click record a response up here in the top menu bar. They can click record a response right below the topic, or they can click the record button to record a response. I'm going to click the record a response button to launch the Flipgrid recorder. Welcome to the Flipgrid Recorder. Now, before I go ahead and record a response to submit to this topic, let's take a quick walkthrough of the different features of the Flipgrid Recorder. So the first feature I want to point out is the timer here in the top right corner. In this case, this topic is set to two minutes. That means that I, as a student, have two minutes to craft my response to this topic. Below, I can see the Show Topic button. If I click that, I get the topic opened up in a new window, which I can move anywhere on my screen. Now, this can be incredibly handy if it's a lengthier topic and you're trying to remember all the different expectations and what you're trying to respond to in the topic. It can also be very handy in case you get a little stage fright or a little nervous while you're recording and you want to refer back to the topic. Keep in mind that you can move this window anywhere on your screen and it will not appear in your video response. All right, below the topic, another great way to organize your thoughts and ideas is by adding sticky notes. Notice when I click the button, I can add these yellow sticky notes where I can actually type ideas. Now again, these sticky notes can be moved anywhere on the screen and they will not appear in your actual recording. They're just a great way for you to add reminders for yourself of what you want to include in your video response or to organize your thoughts before you start recording your video response. All right, next, let's take a look at the menus along the bottom of the recorder. So here you can see the three dots, or as MTech loves to call them, the Timbits for more options. And inside the more options menu, you can upload a pre-recorded clip. So if you used another video recording tool, like Screencastify or WeVideo, and you've downloaded that video, you can upload it here. You can mirror your video response. I personally love mirroring so that I know which way I'm pointing. I can mute so that I'm not recording any sound. And I also have the record screen function or the screen recording function, which allows me to record my desktop or a browser window or an application. All right, next up, I have the effects menu here at the bottom on the other side of the record button. And inside the effects menu, I have a wide variety of effects to amplify my voice and my video response, including filters, frames, emoji stickers, text that I can add to enhance my video response, digital inking, and of course, a variety of boards. I now even have a split screen function where I can select a board and I can actually divide my screen in half 
So that half includes the video of me and the other half is the board where I can demonstrate my work. And if I go back to effects, I also have the ability to add custom stickers. So any image that I have that is either a PNG or a JPEG image, I can actually add as a sticker to my video response. Now we're going to explore all of the different features of the Flipgrid recorder in upcoming videos, but for now, let's get back to talking about how students can record and submit a basic video response to a topic in Flipgrid. So again, once they've launched the Flipgrid recorder, they can simply click the record button here in the center of the bottom menu. I'll be counted down and I can then go ahead and start recording my response to this topic. Now, remember that I can always pause my recording by clicking that record button again. And while I'm recording, I can always add different effects from the effects menu. While I'm paused, I can always click the next button here in the bottom right corner of the recorder. The next button brings me to the preview window where I can actually select my segment that I've recorded and I can trim it or notice that in the bottom left corner, I have the ability to click add more. By adding more, this allows me to add another recorded segment to my video response. Let me show you. I simply click the record button wait for the countdown, and then I can begin recording what else I'd like to add to my Flipgrid response. I can then click that pause button again and click next. And I can now see that I have two segments recorded and I can select a segment down and then I can begin recording to trim, click confirm once you make any changes down and I, and I can always move my segments around by simply grabbing a segment and moving it to where I'd like it. Once I'm ready to submit my video, I'm simply going to click the next button again here in the bottom right of the Flipgrid recorder and I'm prompted to take my selfie. Now, before I take my selfie, notice that I can add any of the effects to my selfie that I can add to my video. And when I'm ready to take my selfie, I just simply click the camera icon here in the middle of the menu. And again, I'll click the next button to start uploading my video. Now, in order to submit my video, I'm going to have the ability to change my display name. So if I needed to add my full last name or I just wanted to go by Christine, I could. Notice that my teacher has left the link feature turned on. So if I have a link to work that I've created that I'd like to attach to this Flipgrid video, I can insert the link here and I can give my video a title. And I'm simply going to click Submit, Complete, and the video is now live inside the topic of the group. Now keep in mind, if this was a moderated topic, I actually wouldn't see my video response here until my teacher approves it and activates it.